what led us to look into the Vietnamese nail salon workers and their health is that there's been a rapid growth in the nail salon industry in the last two decades. California has the largest number of licensed nail salon workers, and it's been estimated that Vietnamese immigrant women make up a large proportion of this workforce. Uh, what's been interesting uh, for us is that many of these workers handle a lot of uh, chemical compounds within their workplace, and we've been concerned about some of these chemicals because some of them can cause cancer or other adverse reproductive outcomes. Um, at the same time, we've seen, we've heard many stories from many of these uh, Vietnamese nail salon workers, uh, Asian Health Services, a uh, community health center located in downtown Oakland, has been outreaching to Vietnamese nail salon workers and have heard many stories about some of the health symptoms that they're getting and as a result have approached us. So with our common interest in this workforce, uh, Asian Health Services decided to partner up and do a preliminary study to understand who this workforce is. I want to emphasize that this is really just a preliminary study. Fortunately, we've been funded by the California Breast Cancer Research Program for a follow-up study to look at two important uh, questions, research questions. The first question is whether, whether nail salon workers in California have a higher breast cancer rate than the general population in California. If we do find that they have higher rates, then that could suggest an occupational link to cancer. The second question is whether Vietnamese nail salon workers have a higher exposure to volatile compounds in the nail salon shops that exceed health-based regulatory standards. Uh, this is a three-year research project and we're just entering into the second year of that project. I think the importance of this work is that this is a uh, an workforce that's really been ignored in terms of health research. And in addition, uh, many of these workers are immigrant workers and they face a different set of health issues than the average consumer. And by understanding what their what health risks they may face, that may tell us a little bit more about what consumers may face with our daily use of different personal care products. As we suspected, uh, a large proportion of this workforce uh, are Vietnamese immigrant workers, and while they're handling many different compounds within the nail salon shops, it appears that many of the shops are not very well ventilated. We found about only half of them having a local exhaust within the shop or having multiple pathways for air to enter and exit out of the shops, um, creating poor ventilation within the shop. Uh, we also found that about 80% of the workers are reporting that they are concerned about the compounds that they're handling and their health, and that about half of them were reporting that they're experiencing acute health problems such as headaches, skin and nose irritations, as well as breathing difficulties, and that a lot of these symptoms only started appearing after they started working as nail salon workers. So it made us really concerned about what's going on with them.